Welcome to part nine of the 2016 paper two exam. Apologies for earlier. I said you should um, print your letter, um, basically um, showing the letter as it was using preview results. Um, I think you need to, it says in the uh, exam paper that you should print your master document with fields displayed. So you select preview results and you would print it this way. Apologies for that. Um, I don't know why I thought that we had to print it the other way. Anyway, carrying on. Um, what you need to do now is, it says, for step 30, add a minimum of three features to the mail merge master document to suit the professional letter with reference to the house style specification sheet. So, <clears throat> what you need to do here is um, you look at the house style specification sheet above. Um, sorry, gone past it here, and you can see that we made these um, earlier in the exam, so they should still be there. If not, you may need to add them again. Okay, um, so we are going to uh, use our house style specifications to actually um, add the features. Now, I'm going to set this on preview results, and um, if you go to home, you should be able to see your house style specification says the body text subheading title okay so what i'm going to do now is using the body text i'm going to select this area of my letter um okay here and i'm going to add the body text um to that okay so looking at a letter here um so add a minimum three features to master document suit professional letter with reference to the house style specification sheet. So what we're going to need now is we are simply going to, sorry, um, letters required for distri uh, distribution in Spain and Germany. So uh, mail, um, add a minimum three features. Um, basically, if you look above here, it says the European importer of the star cars wish to write some to some of their distributors so what we're going to need to do is if we go back up the top <clears throat> you will see using the house style specification sheet okay so this is where it can trick you a little bit it says at the top of each of its company letters star cars must have their company name and a suitable logo to represent their company when designing the company documents you may wish to add further features to enhance them so first of all we're going to need to put the name of the company and a logo. Well, firstly, I'm going to get a logo. Um, now, don't waste loads of time making a logo. So, I'm going to go to online pictures, and as it's called Star Cars, I'm going to find a picture of a star. Okay, and just pick the most simple clip art image. So, here's a clip art image. I'm going to choose this one. Okay, right, I couldn't choose that one. Oops. No, I'm going to cancel that one. I'm going to choose this one then. Sometimes they, they're not always there. It's downloading it now, so that one's working. Here it is. Minimize it. Okay, and go to wrap text and put tight. Okay, so then I should be able to move it wherever I want. So I've done my body text, and now I'm going to put a line underneath here to separate the letter from the, um, the top of the letter, basically the um, headed paper. So I'm just going to choose a line. Make sure it's nice and straight, just under there. I'm going to colour it um, dark blue here, and I'm going to make the weighting a little bigger, and there we are. Right, so now I'm going to put a heading just underneath here, so I'm going to move this down, move my logo up so there's nice clear space, and I'm going to write star cars. Going to highlight my star cars and I'm going to use the subheading for that. So that's my second feature. 
Um, no, subheadings just there. Sorry, there it is. Make sure you choose the right one. Okay, so that's my second feature there. So I've done my body text and I've done my second feature. So let's try and remember what the other ones are. So subtitle, title, okay. So I'm going to put a title, I think, for my letter. Um, so if we look at the letter here, <clears throat> so it says, Please to confirm that a selection of Manchester with France welcome your first manifesto cards, which are now ready for export. So I could always put a title for my letter, and I could simply put it here, okay, and put RE um, exporting manifest of cars. Oops, sorry, spell that wrong. Okay, <clears throat> now this is where I can probably put my um, next house style. So subheading. So let's try that one then. So subheading, because that's the one I haven't used. Um, okay, here's my subheading. Um, no, actually, I have used that one, as you can see, because I clicked on it. So subtitle. Okay, subtitle. There we are. Oops, no. I don't know why my subtitle is right. Okay, I'm going to modify this. Okay, so if something does go wrong, make sure you do modify it. Okay, so my. No. It's subheading. But my subheading is still not right, so I'm going to modify that. So let's take a look. So subheading should be font sans serif. 12 okay so we've got a sensor of 12 18 oops 12 points yeah sensor of 12 line space one clear line spacing so i'm going to go to my line spacing yep one clear line spacing for some reason the alignment's on right and i don't know why so after subheading one okay so I'm just going to change the alignment there to left. It clearly is a mistake. I don't know why, but I've just checked it and I've corrected it, so it's fine. Okay. There we go. Right. No, that's not right. Subheading. There we go. So it's selected to subheading now. Okay, so we've got... <clears throat> So I'm going to double check my, um, so we've got subtitle, under italic, underlined, and right, okay. So that should not be in italic. So I'm going to change that again. I, like I said, I don't know why this has happened, but we're going to change it. Okay, so my subheading should not be like that. There we go. Okay, so I've got my subtitle my subheading and my body so that's all free okay so as you can see mistakes can happen to the best of us even though i did preset my um before my heading to that before but always double check okay so it's taking me a bit longer than i wanted it to so we need to bear that in mind for the exam right now next part let's swiftly move on so we've made uh, made that discovered our errors and corrected them so let's go back down so now the next part should not take very long at all hopefully um so we've done our minimum three features which was one mark and now letters are required for uh, distribution in spain and germany okay so merge the letters only to distributors in Spain and Germany and provide a screenshot evidence of your method used. Okay, so <clears throat> what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go into mailings. Okay, and I'm going to... Um, is it insert? No, it's not insert. No, sorry, edit recipients list. That's right, edit recipients list. So as you can see with our countries here, okay, so we want Spain and Germany. There's Netherlands, UK and France. We take them off. Okay, now, I'm going to double check before I do anything what I'm required to show evidence of. Okay, so I've got to show evidence of the three features in my mail merge letter and 
letters required for distribution in Spain and Germany and then print the merged letters. And also we've got to show that your name, candidate number and centre number is on the letters. Okay, so now I'm going to take a screenshot here to show that my letters are only going to Spain and Germany. So let's check our evidence list. Oops, I'm going to press OK on that because it's not letting me go any further. Right, so master document with fields. Okay, so we can show that as the evidence as well. So take off preview results. Or oh, we should have screenshotted that earlier, but it didn't say that earlier. It just said print it. Okay, so that's where we got confused there. House styles added to the letter. So um, I'm going to take a screenshot of my letter to make sure that everything is shown. If you need to do that, please do. And there we go, print screen of our house style. Sorry, it's my database open there. And as I said before, crop if you need to. And I think in this case, I need to crop. Oh, it's not letting me crop at the moment. Maybe it's because I've got the recorder on. I don't know. Oh, hang on. Here we go. So you should be able to clearly see the house styles in that. Okay, and then evidence of selection of letters to merge, which I did take a screenshot of that earlier, but it's not a problem. I can go back and take that screenshot again. So I'm going to go back to edit recipients list. There's my print screen. Press OK. And I'm not going to crop that. OK, and then if we want to show the master document with the fields, Okay, again, um, I think you should be able to keep undoing, edit undo until it's back to the way it was before. Okay, that didn't take very long at all, really. And there we are. And you can show by taking off preview result, print screen, and... I'm going to pass that in there, even though we're going to print that out anyway. But there we go. Right, um, now one thing I want to draw your attention to, because it doesn't make it really that clear in the print screen evidence. Okay, but I was looking at the mark scheme. To extend that, so that's all my evidence there. I was looking in the mark scheme, and here... It's got the evidence of the merged fields. There we go, the house style. And the two correct merged letters. So we need to show print screens of those. But developing the house style, it says here about describing features. Okay, so that's something we may need to keep an eye on, but it didn't actually say it. Okay, in and describing a feature, but it didn't actually say it in the exam paper. Okay, and it says that um, they have to be explained, so um, keep an eye out for that, okay? Right, now, obviously, before you print your letter and so on, you need to make sure when you print your finished letter, and obviously, you can always um, go back and, oops, sorry, and put your features back if you go to edit, um, redo. Now, um... Make sure you put your um, name and candidate number in before you actually um, print it, okay, as it does say in the exam paper. Right, time is running out for me now because I've only got 15 minutes to record. Um, so move to the next part, which is part nine, okay, for the PowerPoint presentation.